Ever since our baby hatchlings crawled out of the water, we've dragged them from beach to beach throughout North America, from the West Coast to the East Coast, and even down to Mexico. So we are here at Clark's Court Marina. Um, we have been living on the boat for the past two weeks, uh, getting a lot of boat projects done. Talk more about those later. First, let's meet the crew. Roll that intro. That sounds dark. Maddie, do you want to go in the chair? Ooh, is that a little bird's nest I just found? Okay, so we just got taken in by one of the very charming beach merchants making woven baskets. Look inside, isn't it beautiful? Very yeah, nice good. handiwork. go with Google Fi for our phone service and they give you um, unlimited data but after 20 gigs they throttle you and you really can't do much of anything after that. Um, we ran out of data in less than a week so <laughs> we had to figure out some other way um, to buy data and we have to figure out a way to use less data. We are very data heavy users. Uh, kids watch a lot of learning YouTube and we uh, spend a lot of time on our computers, on the web, uh, so we have to figure out how to use less data and how to find cheaper data some other way. Maybe local SIM cards, we're going to try that out. Okay, here we are with our boat stove. You, we have never started up yet. Uh, we finally got some propane from the from Fast Manicou, who brought it here to the harbor for us, so. What are you doing? Here we are trying to start it up first and Wait, we won't blow our face off. Crash Bandicoot? Fast Manicou. Oh, Fast okay. Fast Manicou. All right. So, is this actually on? Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe we should turn it on first. So, go flip the switch. You, have, you push in, just like on a regular gas stove. Is this why Uncle Scott told us to have matches? Oh, that's the gas motor. James thinks that the valve is open in the propane locker, but I'm not so sure. It's really warm in this boat. I'm sweating. This is the first day we've had like no wind. Don't feel bad for us. We'll be okay. Controller. It's pretty yeah. small. I'm not sure I could make like Thanksgiving turkey. Thanksgiving turkey in there or anything. Uh oh. Uh oh. How do I close the oven? Oh, there we go. All right. Let's try this. It's gonna work this time. Here we go.
smell gas. You see that? Can you see that? It's lit, but when I let go of it, it stops. We have fire! Well, that's not good. What's up? Uh, well, we've got some water or at least some liquid down here in this, under the electrical compartment. Oh my god. So that's probably not good. You see down in there? Oh my, oh my god, what is that? Are you I sure it's water? I don't know what it is. I mean, it's, if it's water, it's been there for a while. It's yellow like that, but... Uh, oh, my God. That's certainly not something we want on in our electrical cables. Um... So, we'll need to find out. First off, is it conducting the electricity right now? Where that leak is coming from and get all that out of there. So, yeah. So, message the electrician. Yep. Right now we're having our mainsail repaired. It's in pretty good shape, but it needs a little bit of work. Today they're going to come pick up the rest of our sails and inspect them and make any repairs that are necessary. Um, air conditioner is getting fixed. Woohoo! Uh, hopefully today. And we had some rigging work done. So the rigging work is done. The sails are being repaired. As soon as that's done, we will have the sails put back on the boat and then we'll be ready to hire a skipper, um, a teacher to come aboard and teach us how to sail our, sail our vessel. So until then, we're just living on the boat and uh, waiting for our stuff to arrive and going on some little excursions in our dinghy and some shopping excursions. Uh, every day at 7.30 a.m. they have what they call the net on the VHF radio and that's where people, merchants, advertise their goods. They tell us when the buses are running, the buses come here to, to this marina and they pick people up and they take them sometimes downtown, sometimes to Ace Hardware, Budget Marine, different places in, that people like to go. Um, some merchants come here to sell their bread or drinks fill propane tanks, things like that, periodically. So you find out about all of that stuff on the net every morning. Uh, it's really kind of cool and fun to listen to. First breakfast on the boat. How does it taste, guys? It's good. In Grenada, the milk is not refrigerated. It's shelf-stable. It comes in cartons that look like this. But it says once you open it, you only have three days to drink it before it goes bad. Eggo waffles, yummy. vegetable soup. Just add water. These beef noodle soup mix and some uh, fish tea soup. Bananas. I like bananas. Do you like bananas? I have to. Do you like bananas? Yeah. Some probiotics for your gut. 
God help. Shortening. Tomatoes. Mm, broccoli. Green onions. Is this a heart? Yeah. Lizzie makes a really good heart. Do you know the... But this is a... This is a... A tooth triangle. It is? Yeah. Cool. Can you make a right triangle? Mm, not right now. Is this Can a you? right triangle? Sure. How about a medium tra trapezium? Ooh, look at that dinosaur. It's big jaws. I'll make blue. I'll make blue and aquamarine together. Aquamarine. Mm, it looks almost like a navy or an indigo or maybe a cornflower blue. Is this a cornflower blue? Mm-hmm. And up came the sun and dropped the water away. Yes, we ran too bright. And up the spout again. There's a restaurant over there some houses and every morning those roosters wake me up. If you'd like to support our channel, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next week for more boat owner news. Thanks for watching.